Hi guys, good morning. This is my second take sa video because nawala ako sa concentration. <laughs> so, I was um, recording a uh, video about a versant test since me, I work in a call center and uh, gusto ko i-share kung um, how to pass the versant exam. I wanted to um, share kung anong knowledge ko about it. Marami kasi ang um, bagsa sa versant na mga nag apply or aspiring call center uh, employees because yung iba is walang knowledge about it. Uh, ang iba ay uh, because first time na mag-apply, um, they, they um, tend to be out of focus. So, ninenervyos na because of that and uh, yung iba is ano na, na na baguhan something new to them that they don't know how to to um to use it and um iba is totally hindi rin marunong sa mag follow ng instructions so the versant it's actually being used by call centers to test if yung employee is capable of being a call center um call center agent so yung communication skills is there yung listening attentively you should listen attentively and then you if if you you are well spoken if i may say well spoken or if you can like express yourself in english and na walang mga feelers feelers na iba iba pa though meron talaga yan but um may scoring naman yan eh so we'll have to check kung ano ba yung mga nasa versant, yung mga parts sa versant. So, you also will have an idea before mo add before mo pumunta, pumunta sa a-applyan nyo. So, actually, marami naman. You can check online kung paano ba to. But, this is just a uh, note ng uh, what I, what I, what I learn or um, what I know about the versant exam. So, here, sa ano to, sa nag-download ako ng free present test let me check and show it to you first before we go downloads here so this is how it looks sorry kasi ka charge yan po siya yan I'll just put it here. So, jan para my space. So, again, so, ang versant, it's composed of six parts. So, sa six, pa six parts na yun, may gagawin ka. Iba-iba. Iba-ibang gagawin natin. So, sa part A, it's reading. So, there will be like 12 questions or 12 sentence sentences there. And then, yung gagawin mo is, you will listen to the voice my voice command kasi if I may call it voice command, meron yun. So, you will listen to it and if the the voice says, read sentence number 5. So, yung number 5 na sentence yun, yung i-read mo. Of course, you have to be calm, you have to uh, be clear sa pag uh, converse mo. And, read sentence number 1. So, yun lang. Yun lang gagawin mo. Read mo lang siya. Tapos, I think mga five of this, yun, tapos, you, you will proceed to B, part B. Ito yung task na repeat. So, sa repeat, ang gagawin mo lang is you will listen to the voice, tapos, after that, ulitin mo lang. So, example here, it says, leave town on the next train. You will, ano, uh, read the sentence again. Leave town on the next train. Yun lang. Tapos, I'm not sure kung ilang item to. And then, sa C, questions. So, you'll just have to give a simple answer to the questions of the voice. So, sa voice, example, would you get a water from a bottle or a newspaper? So, from there, you will know, asa magka, ay, sorry, bisaya. So, where are you gonna get a water? So, of course, you will say a bottle or from the bottle 
yun very easy and simple lang po ito so there is like um, mga more than five siguro na question na ganito and then sa sa D nga part this is sentence builds so sa sentence builds is magre-rearrange ka ng words para ma maging sentence siya so example a voice says would you get I uh, know sorry a voice says was reading my mother her favorite magazine so from those phrases I arrange mo siya into a sentence so it will you will say my mother was reading her favorite magazine yun yun and sa letter sa part E story retelling so yung voice is magana siya Ma, meron siyang meron siyang story for like 30 seconds maybe and then what you will do after the beep you will be given an instruction um you will retell what you remember sa um sa voice so this is easy actually talagang madidistract ka lang sa yung sa kaba but ang importante dito is wala kang dead air ang mga feelers mo na um yung yung mga hindi maintindihan na words iwasan po natin yun so just um, be confident and kung ano yung na, narinig mo is yun yung is e, to tell mo to actually may ano ka may headset ka nito yun yung e, 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 story ni mo and this is i think 30 seconds so madali lang yun pero pag nandun ka kabadong kabadong ka talaga niyan but claim it makakapasa ka and for f may open questions so sa open questions you will hear two questions about either family life or personal issues or personal choices each question will be spoken twice followed by a beep so pag narinig mo na yung beep meron kang 40 seconds to answer the question and you will hear another beep para sa isang question na naman this is like uh yung parang impromptu speaking yun siya if you can like uh, speak clearly and you can express yourself so again this is part six or f it is a test of sentence construction comprehension vocabulary and attention to details so meron kang 30 to 45 seconds do not stop until the time is up so yun yung importante dun dapat wala kang dead air no silence no other feelers na um kasi recorded yung system kasi to computerized so kung anong makapture niya it's sensitive so you really have to be careful when taking the exam or the test hmm pero makakapa sa kanito yan so very easy lang po ito dapat meron kang proper facing speaking with the right speed hindi yung hindi yung very slow yung conscious ka ba kung ano yung sasabihin mo until na wala na <laughs> hindi na maintindihan dapat listening attentively active listening should be present yung sentence construction natin at saka yung comprehension and then sentence simplification mm -hmm. so i hope that you all will be able to pass the percent it's actually other consoners so first to shut the take the test if you're able to let you know express yourself communicate well yeah but others if you're done with the typing test with the interview this is the last Until part of the final the final um final interview union so again claim po natin na makakapasa tayo sa versant ano lang naman to mm, one one yung step ba sa sa one step sa pag-apply of the application process so marami ka pang pagdadaanan yan pero marami talaga ang bumabagsak sa versant doon sila and stop uh, which is actually sayang naman meron din yung iba kasi nabigla kung ano lang pinagsasabi 
have to be uh, really careful and compose yourself. Yan lang siya. Actually, ako, when I took this one, it was the first time that I had um, seen or read the paper, the test paper, and I just read the instructions and then listened to uh, what the voice was saying. Then follow. Follow, follow. Yun lang. Tapos, wait lang. I am going to show you the uh, yung sample na version na version test ha? para may idea rin kayo yun yun so let us review asa na yun let us review para alam natin and if you are from Cebu you would like to apply sa company that I'm in please uh, message me right away um, we can uh, submit your details to the, to the recruitment Yan. Hindi naman kasi talag, kinukuha yung talagang perfect English. Given naman na hindi talaga perfect yung English because it's our second language. But at least yung mga may express natin yung self natin. You know more because you know more about um, what is it, a call center agent. Because yung iba kasi apply ng apply. Ng, ng apply. Dapat alam mo kung ano yung pinapasok mo. Maraming call center guys, but uh, you know, it's really hard to 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 be in a company na nagdi-care sa employee. Really hard. But one step, again, one step to be a call center agent is to pass the full application process, pass the interview, especially the version test. So again ha, I hope you guys pass and I hope na yung mga, kung ano yung mga sinabi ko is makatulong din sa inyo. Help you a lot. Thank you until my next video.